Hey, it's GW coming to you live once again. We're counting down my favorite horror films of all time. And there you see it. Christmas Survival Double Feature. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Parts 1 and 2. Now, this film is a pretty good slasher movie, but it also created a hell of a lot of controversy in its wake. And we're going to talk about that. But the film, I'll tell you what it deals with first. It deals with a young kid named Billy. Billy and his mom and his dad, I think, are home. They're driving home, and they stop at a gas station. Billy's parents are gunned down by a guy wearing a Santa Claus suit committing a robbery. Billy is then sent to Catholic school, where he has to endure the torments and tortures of Mother Superior. Billy then gets a job at a hardware store. It's Christmas time. They put Billy in a Santa Claus suit and all hell breaks loose. And I'm talking about really good Friday the 13th style kills. And Billy actually ends up tracking his way back to Mother Superior. It's very good. It's a very good slasher movie. But you're not going to remember the story, but you're going to remember the controversy that followed this film. Because this is probably one of the most controversial horror films you will ever read about or witness and I know I say that about a lot but this one you can actually check it out and I'm telling you bar none by God's honest truth this thing rocked the movie industry to the core so let's see it opened the same night or the same weekend as Nightmare on Elm Street the two films were doing neck and neck for a while until this was pulled from theaters seems that though parents and you know guardians and you know, church groups were banning this thing, picketing this thing. You'd go to see this thing into theater. You'd have to fight through a line of picketers just to see it. They got their way, and it was pulled two weeks after its initial release. Now, parents, whenever they picketed this thing, did say that they do not like Santa Claus being portrayed as an axe murderer, sends a bad message to kids. Okay, I get that. But they went so far as to have the trailers for this movie pulled off of television and this movie yanked out of theaters within two weeks. It did get a re-release in 1986, two years later. Now Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert decided that they were going to trash this film, and trash it they did. They read, well Gene Siskel in particular, read aloud the names of the, of the distributors, or the distributors for this film, and said basically, shame on you, they condemned them, they basically said promoting Santa Claus as a killer, you know, they're sick. And basically the one quote that you'll read about is they say that, you know, the promoters of this film, the makers of this film have nothing to be proud of. Um, in an interview for this film, The Rise and Fall of the Slasher, mag or the Slasher film, Mother Superior's, the, actor, the actress that played Mother Superior, which is Lillian Siobhan, said that the film's marketing campaign shouldn't have basically been around Santa as a psycho. It should have dealt with the psychological problems of Billy, and that should have been that, and then the, the, then the trailers would not get, really, or not get yanked off TV. That was in 1984. Again, November of 1984, People Magazine did an interview with Brian, Robert Brian Wilson, who plays Billy. He actually was embarrassed by the whole controversy of this, of this movie being pulled out of theaters and basically told his family and friends and everyone else, and especially John Q. Public, not to go see this film. It's almost like the Two and a Half Men deal where you get, a, get the kid, he's in a sitcom, he's probably going to make a billion dollars, but he doesn't like it because of content. You know... There's a lot of things that I don't like content-wise. But if I'm getting paid a million dollars and I can live with that, I live with that. But that's just me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to go into it. The kill scenes for this film were actually directed by the film's editor. Because the film's director was not exactly comfortable shooting gore sequences. Um... The other interesting thing about this film is it was not called Silent Night, Deadly Night till the last minute. It was called Slay Ride, which I think would have drew more ire from parents if you would have called it Slay Ride. Um, 
Phil Donahue decided to jump on the bandwagon here somewheres and decided to do an entire hour of his show based on the controversy of this film. Now, Phil Donahue is pretty cool. I've seen, I remember growing up in the Two Live Crew controversy and how their sexually explicit lyrics were driving people nuts. Phil Donahue had Luther Campbell on his show and he seemed to be taking it in zest. He didn't think it was harmful to the kids. He thought it was age appropriate for some people, but he didn't jump on the band or the backs of the protesters, is what I'm saying. So, with that being said, the other interesting thing is that the director, the whole time this was going on, thought that its portrayal of the Catholic Church and the nuns were basically going to cause a controversy, not the killer Santa. Um. This film does feature some a couple of wicked kills. One, a chick gets impaled with on a wall with deer antlers, which is pretty sweet. Um, a man is hung by Christmas lights. It's pretty festive. Uh, and basically, a teenage boy is decapitated through while going sledding. Now, this film did garner a sequel. You can see it right there. It actually ends up where the first film leaves off, and it almost seems like they did do it back to back. Um, this thing was remade in 2012 with Malcolm McDowell playing in it, and it was okay. It wasn't that great. But Silent Night, Deadly Night, I think looking back at it now, I think it was an okay film. I mean, it's not as good as, say, some of the Friday 13th stuff, but it's up there. And people don't realize. They look at this and they say, oh, you know, horrible video garbage. No. This movie was actually a very good, well-thought-out slasher movie because you actually feel bad for Billy. So that being said, check out Silent Night, Deadly Night. Tell me what you think. And remember, turn the Christmas lights on. <laughs>